Jason, welcome to Finn Reacts episode 37. Today we're watching Twisted. Twisted. Bop it. Um, Twisted is a parody, as I'm sure you know, otherwise why else would you be watching this, of uh, Aladdin. I forgot what it was for a second there, for a split second. I have watched Aladdin, but only recently, can you believe it? I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, ooh, new setting. If you've watched one of these videos before, a, you see there's a violin there. Music. Um, yeah, so Twisted is what we're going to be watching. What have you been up to? Do you know what I've been up to? I start yesterday, <laughs> I started playing Pokemon Go to the polls again. Um, as it's officially known. It's it's too cold. It's too cold to play Pokemon Go is what I discovered today. <laughs> I was like, I'll go for a walk and I'll catch some Pokemon. Too damn cold. Let's give this a go. Because I know with these videos I keep filming them in like parts because of technical difficulties in two parts. So I have to do it. So what I, I was going to put like a jumper on for the first part today so then I could just wear the jumper on another day and it wouldn't look but fuck it fuck it I've done the intro now with this <laughs> fuck it that's my catchphrase no what was my there was another catchphrase I had and keeping it legal what are the best ingredients when you sat around with friends I'm doing rich keeping it legal what are you trying to get out of me cheeky I always keep it legal I don't know if you get that vibe from me but <laughs> the, I think, um, oh, I always keep it legal. That's my catchphrase. I'm all about the catchphrases, guys. Come on. This is seven years ago. Going back a bit now. Going back a bit from before the days of guy doing like musicals and at Hatchetfield uh, Universe. Once oh, it's like the Disney logo. Cool. Then came the dark times. The kingdom fell into the hands of an evil. The Sultana. The happiest place on earth became the crappiest place on earth. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, that's fine. Ah, it's Dumbledore. <laughs> He's always Dumbledore. Funny, wicked reference. I'm just trying to, trying to think. I'm trying to remember what Jafar actually did in the film because it was like the story was he was trying to trying to get rich right he was trying to get that dollar dollar bill there was like a treasure that he was looking for like in terms of evil intention I'm just trying to understand where this musical's coming from in terms of evil intention uh, you know Aladdin fucked him a bit you know he I mean, he did trick him. Maybe if he just asked politely. Uh, oh, no, no, he fucked Aladdin, actually. He did fuck Aladdin. <laughs> oh, no. He's saying, he's saying mostly Welsh. Did I hear that right? Is that a Welsh shout-out? Said that. 
<laughs> yeah, someone said mostly Welsh. Oh, that's good. You don't you don't often um, hear many Welsh uh, shout outs in at least American media. Uh, like, why would you? But I was thinking that reminds me of uh, there's an episode of Futurama where they go to this this the Star Trek planet where all the Star Trek characters or the actors are banned to, and then instead of Scotty, they have Welshy. <laughs> And then the the voice is just he, he just goes Oh Welshy Welshies Aye Do we want a mad one whirl It's just like nowhere near anything Welsh but like it doesn't need to be because anyone watching that show would know what a actual Welsh person sounds like anyway but it's nice to hear a little Welsh shout out. The Elfin Vowed. Like, I don't know if that something. I this is, is setting it up as a whole poor Jafar thing. But, like, in the film, he's very much, like, just out. Just. It, it, he's interested in his own success, and he's not really, like, working for the people, as far as I saw. So, I don't know if in this play now there's going to be a turning point. Like, he's good now, but then he's going to be a snap, and he's going to go, fuck all of you, you, uh, you cocks. I was going to say a really bad word then, but I thought, <laughs> maybe I should have, I don't know why. Maybe I, sh maybe I shouldn't say really bad word. I say cock instead. That's not that bad. That's an animal. He's going to turn him into a cat. No doubt. Nice, as always, good, fun opening number. <laughs> With a lot of hand and a lot of good people are dead. <laughs> Explain! Well, the sword swallower slit his throat from the inside, and the thief's two more choked on shit. All this no, it's cartoon rules. <laughs> He didn't die. Abdul, you're alive. I thought you choked on shit. <laughs> Look how monotone he's doing. Oh no, I'm sorry. The thief got away. We... Yes. Yes, Abdul. We got the bread back. Praise Allah. Oh my God. <laughs> Who's? I need to learn. This is all you... I need to learn the cast members' names because I keep. But him, who plays Professor Hitchens, and that other guy in <laughs> I really don't know, the other guy in uh, um, Black Friday, but he's really good. I like him. Oh, Jafar. My fault. How is this I mean, they're all really good guys. Things. They're all really good. I hate these. I was talking to Monkey about it. And he thinks we should just kill you. Yeah. I'm just gonna say it early on. Um, Jeff's nipples are distracting me <laughs> uh, quite a bit. Uh, no easy way to get around that. Just I'm gonna get used to it. It's fine. <laughs> just, his nipples are just there. They're just there. Yoink. I wonder, like, how... Because they, they, they're including a lot of story elements that are, are the same as what happens in the film. But, like, Aladdin wins in the end, so I don't know if they're just going to change the ending. Is this how your kingdom treats its guests, Jafar? <laughs> Take a look at this! <laughs> he always has... Oh, I have to, like, look up their names, because it's too disrespectful. Yeah. Right, it's, it's Joe Walker, but he always has like all the all the characters he plays are, like so different, but they always have um, like great voices. What it was a Umbridge he plays, which is great, and Voldemort. And now what? What was this? It's, it's just. <laughs> Tell me, 
What do you see? <laughs> so it's very specific. Your boxer shorts, my lead. Your ass cheeks, my lord. <laughs> my ass cheeks. <laughs> They're hanging out. I am lucky that it is so pert and small. Oh, no. I'm grateful <laughs> for your tiny ass, my lord. <laughs> I cannot. Silly side character. I'm here only to illustrate her reluctance to get married. <laughs> That's great. That's such a great way of doing it as well. I can imagine like writing that would have been really fun because you just w watch the film. I imagine you can do that with a lot of films where you just like there's a lot, especially cartoons where they're very just frivolous with how, how like what how, what characters getting injured and stuff and falling from like insane heights. And we just focus on that. Wait, what happens after the main character goes off to? The next scene, what happens to them? Just follow that, and then I'm not saying it writes itself. Like, I'm not saying it's easy, but I imagine that was a lot of fun. Oh. Hydrate yourselves, kiddos. I'm gonna get some more water. Feelings, too. <laughs> and we will yeah, well, you must forgive our princess. She is your. I, I swear. Every. Why? I remember when I was saying like it's so specific with his voices. It sounds like any voice that he does it doesn't sound like an accent I've heard before. It's just ever so slightly off. Because of your princess, that is completely out of the question. <laughs> the camera the went next over. Time to this... <laughs> Besides, if I <laughs> It sounds like a bit like um It sounds like a very much like the little mermaid song where it's like I wanna go where the people go um, <laughs> I wanna go where the people go. Is that one is that the lyric is? <laughs> I wanna go where the people go peopling around where their fucking legs Um no, but it, it sounds like it's going into that because it's kind of, it's like the same song but from a different, from a more privileged perspective, I guess. I don't know if that was intentional, or if that just kind of happened. But I didn't really pay attention to that kind of aspect in the other songs, to be honest, because maybe more of the songs are like that because because it's like a Disney style thing. Also, I'm surprised, like. They're kind of allowed to do this. I like you'd think Disney would be very um, stringent on what sort of property is allowed to be used as a as a production. They're allowed to like parody. I don't know, but yeah, I wonder if more of the songs are kind of dis just like generally Disney esque. I like it. It gives it, it like it grounds it in that Disney world. But then also it's it's funny. <laughs> I want the moon. I want to live on the moon. I need it in a pie. And... Hey Jeff, huh? <laughs> where is my team? Oh, my I'm, I'm the state of everything he says. Like Don't blame the salt in Jaffar. This is all your fault. <laughs> Didn't have the 2D department. Ah, he's a, the common man. Jafar with Jesus? Previous was here. Me, sir, my name is Jafar, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the new assistant was <laughs> Are you finished? Are you listening, boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
coming to the end of that song, the realize they were saying, follow the gulp and rule. Funny. <laughs> Clever thing. This is meant to be like when he was corrupt, though, because it still seems like they're presenting him as someone who still cares about the people. Even though in the film he doesn't seem like that. I don't know. Your words are like honey, young master. Oh, Jafar, and I am master to no man or woman. I am a servant to the people, and therefore your servant. <laughs> what a simp. <laughs> Tell me, what, uh, what is it that you... Common oil lamp. I wonder who plays the genie, actually. I, I haven't thought about that. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but do not be fooled by its commonplace appearance. This is no ordinary lamp. So this is what he cares about It is the about prison it. of a jin. We're still in the flashback, aren't we? will grant your every wish. He's also really funny. Oh, there we are. Keep the bandages tight. What is Robin Williams? What if they got Robin Williams for the play? Are we going to see the origin of where his parent came from? I don't know why, but... (laughs) Is that her Sherazad? I have a feeling... I keep thinking that she's going to be his parrot. (laughs) Like, at some point, she's going to turn into the parrot. And it's probably because... It might be, I watched the Wizards of Waverly Place movie a few weeks ago. And that's just reminding me of it. I don't know if that's a thing, though. I think... Is there, like, a backstory? I can't remember in the film for where the parrot comes from. No, she's she can't be the parrot. <laughs> that's silly. I know a thousand tales. Something must happen to her, though. Cause... To fill a thousand nights. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's cute. You did have something to do with that. I saw him in the marketplace and I knew he would delight me. Well, that's just freaking cute. Donkey shit! Oh, those are mine, aren't they? Why, I love She's packing. She's packing a baby. Oh no, that's make this is gonna make it even more sad when she eventually. Course. How to make things sad 101. Stick a baby in the mix. That's very cute. <laughs> Whoa, that subverted my expectations. Oh, she's gonna be taken. Taken three by the Sultan. Uh, it is an honor to be in your Sultana. presence, She's my wife now. Here, take this. Oh, they're gonna have a baby as well. <laughs> I think that's what makes it so sad. Reference. First, I lost her to the Sultan. He's crying. I lost her to heaven. Are you fucking crying? And he hasn't even started work on a screenplay. <laughs> I'm only 33. I think I've seen it all. Is that how old he is? How old is he meant to be? Actually? Google says 18. Is it? It's based on something, is it? Hang on. Isn't it based on the 40 thieves? What's that story? <laughs> No, I'm not sure if it's based on that. The Arabian Nights. It's like thousands of different stories, okay. Holly Barber and the 40 Thieves? Is that the story? <laughs> I don't know. I remember in drama in school once we did like something like that. Something to do with the Arabian Nights and the 40 Thieves. Whatever. I have no Now I'm an orphan. All my parents ever did 
The, the way he performs this reminds me of uh, when he's in guy doing like musicals where he's Sam the cop, but it's the song where he's like tied up to the chair and he's going like, huh, Charlotte. He was the victim. Well, unlike Aladdin, he probably had a family who loved him. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this man must face the due punishment for all murdering thieves. Beheading. <laughs> Don't look at oh, me like that. Dude. So my busted me out of jail so I could go to a cave filled with mountains of gold. And the only thing you want is a crummy old land? Precisely. The rest of the treasure oh. is yours. So, okay. that That's the first thing I've seen. I think that's the first thing I've seen that's directly changed in the film. Because he disguises himself. He's more like he's tricking him a bit more in the film. Where he's, he disguises himself as like an old, the an old prisoner. But, wow, and her toddies? Oh. <laughs> She's just, she's just so. Oh, I'm beautiful. Fuckable. I think they could have like a, a wider angle lens on Jeff. Because I've seen a, a few things that he's been doing. Where he's doing like these funny movements and stuff. But he don't, it gets cut off. You can't see like this fucking top half. Why can't we just see the whole stage? You understand? Oh, it worked! It worked! Follow that trail! <laughs> oh, that was cool. That was nice. All the overlaying shots. Was... So, see, I thought he was he was a genie, but this says the genie is a fictional gin appearing in Walt Disney Pictures animated film. So he's a gin, but he's called genie. But I swear people say. A genie. His arm is all fucked up. And now, now he can't come with me to cowboy camp. <laughs> oh, Star Kids should do Toy Story. It's like any pop culture thing. Like, Star Kids should do that. I'm not. <laughs> I have this weird sticky uppy nose and this ridiculous mustache. I should just shave it. Don't you dare. <laughs> just the way you are. Oh, God, no matter what happens, you will Didn't even process be that. Is an incident involving my Piece of this. <laughs> you give up all of your and my sweaty, bloody body with your <laughs> <laughs> you know what? For some reason, this is all. I don't know, it reminded me a bit of uh, Monty Python. I don't know if it's like just the back in, uh, sort of the backup vocals and dancing and all that reminds me of kind of, you know, the Eric Idol songs. And, well, there's, there's always like on the bright side of life and then there's like Lumberjack songs and stuff like that. But also just kind of his character in this is kind of, I don't know, it's just giving off that vibe. What he said, bloody, what did he say, bloody botty. It's just very bouncy, like, it's very bouncy and... Uh, old fashioned. Good stuff. <laughs> I was gonna shout after all. <laughs> like I said, 
I think with Star Kid, it's there's a lot of the time. I think sometimes I I watch it and I'm like, I like making jokes about you got fucked by a tiger, and I think, oh, that's a bit grotesque and stuff like that. But then it's just like the the way they tell it, or or sometimes the way they persist with a joke enough that it'll just get you. Where it's like that's just the right amount of stupid. <laughs> But that's just going to become a thing now. I don't know. Because I think some people might watch it and be like, ah, oh, it's just... They, they won't like it because it seems really, like, too silly. But I think it's just the right amount of silly. Like, sometimes you can feel like, ah, oh, they're just... Uh, they're just doing that for the sake of it. But then... It's really funny, so... <laughs> Just keep going with it. Just keep ha hammering it through. Oh, songs. Okay. Song what did he say? Oh, what? To a dick. They're what? Song is pieces to the starving masses, and they're trampling each other to. I'm not sure if we're gonna see the genie. No, we must do. But I, I thought maybe they're deliberately not gonna do the genie because it's just like everyone's just going to be thinking of Robin, comparing it to Robin Williams the whole time. I don't know. Maybe we will. To it. Uh, oh, there it is! <laughs> Who the fuck you know was me? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, um, no! Jeez, how many rules you got? Okay, they're not showing the genius. Funny bastard. Such a beautiful night. Take off your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ivan hit me in the eyes. Wasn't that a, I don't it's I don't have thing in Aladdin, but isn't that definitely a thing in The Lion King where there's like a scene where it's like the clouds or some smoke spell out what looks to be the word. It looks like uh, yeah, the what she said SFX or it looks like sex. Which I'm sure a lot of Christian mom groups have shared. <laughs> don't know if I believe that Disney's deliberately trying to Indoctrinate sex into their movies. <laughs> oh, stop. Fuck each other. Maybe there is, maybe it wasn't a lad That sex thing. Did I have a look? I've opened too many tabs, what am I doing? Too many tabs, too many tabs. Um, Aladdin sex. <laughs> I've just, I've just typed in Aladdin sex. Um, sex clouds, that, I think that's it. Aladdin sex clouds. <laughs> Why everyone thought Aladdin had a secret sex message? Okay. I guess it's a reference to that. Alright, let me look at images. No, yeah, I knew it was the Lion King. It's not Aladdin, is it? It's the Lion King. That's all the pictures are coming up anyway. And it, oh, I've just fucking closed the freaking tab. <laughs> you freaking kidding me? 
<laughs> that's what I'm saying, it's just, that's, that's like another example, just, I don't know, if you thought of that joke, it's so stupid, where it's like, I pushed my penis in and it never came back out, but then it's like, if you say it enough, <laughs> if you say it enough, it's funny, <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? That's the rule, the golden rule, that's the real golden rule, just say it enough. Be gone! Be gone, cat! Listen, I love cats as much as the next person. But I'm not against this cat. The cat will poop. The cat will poop there. And then you have to pick up the poop. I'm not against cats, I'm against picking up poop, okay? Now, if there's one thing we can all agree on is poop is gross. So don't get mad. Sorcerer in my midst this entire time. Gods, capture that sorcerer. No, sorcerer. This is your own fault, Jafar. Oh shit. Where's Took it. Noise. Noise moves. But which way? Is this time travel a forbidden wish? I can't remember. It feels like that would be too convenient. Isn't it? What? I didn't expect this. I'll be so honest, I didn't expect this. That's the title. Who's it? Wait. Gaston. There's probably like actual theories to do with Beauty and the Beast with like Stockholm Syndrome and stuff like that. I can imagine anyway. I I can imagine there's a few, there's a video essay or two on that subject. There's probably a video essay on all of these, or like from the perspective of the the villain. Um, Sometimes what it hurts is to twist it. Twist it. Just trying to remind myself what that sounds like. Oh wow, I'll tell you what, the bloody costume department went all out on this one, didn't they? It's just like, like for, for the rest of it, it's just, it's been, it's been pretty good anyway, but it's just ramped up a bit right now. Just, just for the, like, is it just for this one song to like these characters like not come back? Because if so, that's dedication, i tell you that, take that much. Like if this is just for the song Twisted, that's, cr that's crazy. Crazy! Wait, <laughs> what did she say? Sorry. Have a coat made out of topping! That's it. The dun 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 dun. That's like right from Poor Unfortunate Soul from that song as well. Just on the topic of um, the songs in the musical sounding Disney esque. Yeah, I think those costumes were just made for that song. That's so cool. Like I think a lot of other people will be like, that's just too much effort for that. <laughs> just the one song. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying, they'll really put the effort, no matter how stupid the joke is, they'll really put the effort in. 
And you can't knock that in the end, can you? It's just good. It's just... Yeah, it, lo- it just shows a lot of passion has gone into it. It's fun. Tiger fun. I feel like Jen tipping over the you inches. Brought my it's a bit jumping the shark. Oh, that's right. Didn't my tiger eat your ass? Tiger fucker, tiger fucker, stop it! There it is again. I don't know if that's one too many times. <laughs> I know I said just repeat it, but my ass. No, it's because pretty funny. It's be pretty funny. That's right. Bring Ahmed his tiger, and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Shut up! Aladdin! Is he fucked up? Yeah, Aladdin! Ah, oh, and then. <laughs> Jafar save the day? It always takes me a sec to remember Jafar. You all powerful and terrible thing! You who can command! Are we gonna see the genie? Come forth and serve your master! <laughs> 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 That's the thing, John. Uh, when, when Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, <laughs> So I use my my first wish to become the Sultan. Wish out a million dollars. Hot dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love the way they did that. So it's just just references, but just the the laziest references you could ever do. Hot dog. All the gin joints and all the towns and all the wild she walks in the mind. Who? Rosebud. Jeff, what's going on here? Who's this very funny blue man standing next to you? This is not He's very funny. Johnny. I'm Turbo Man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess his name is actually Turbo Man. I'm Batman. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh wait, they spelt so here they spelt Jin with a D. When I looked it up, it was just J I double N. What would my name be if I was a genie? Jin ha 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 ha. Jesus Christ! This is rather than you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just move the <laughs> No! I won't let you take her! You have no idea how much that girl means to me! Oh! I I've just realized! Oh, you love her? Dude, she's like half your age. Or Wait. No, not that kind yeah. of love, you shitful brain! Yeah! Oh my god, I'm an idiot! <laughs> Because... My wife was with child when she was taken by the Sultan. She died in childbirth. Oh, oh my god. The princess was coincidentally born around. <laughs> okay, you know, okay, he's more of an idiot. How could I have ever seen it before? I love my parents. But that didn't stop me from doing what needed to be done. Me? What? Yeah, I do. Tifa? Fuck you. <laughs> You're the guy who killed my parents. Oh my. Oh you did, man. dear. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> this is dark. No, I live here. No. <laughs> You're just squatting here. But it's gonna be one day. Oh. Okay, Jesus Christ, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> that was amazing. No position to be handled. But what if tomorrow never comes? Oh, tomorrow Whoa. Comes. A little bra- Black Even Friday foreshadowing. I do have power beyond what needs the... Who's it? The, um, who is it? Dylan something? <laughs> who, who's playing uh, Jafar, I'm sorry. Um... He's had quite a red face throughout the whole thing. 
Uh, and he's been, like, sweating a lot. But uh, the fact that now that he's in, like, the full red suit, it's really, it's really working for him. Then I wish you every happiness. It is dead. Ah. Ah. Just that men. No women, thank you. <laughs> I am so sorry, princess. Don Tootin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, look at this. Combination hookah and coffee maker. Also makes brilliant flies. Why does he got a different accent? <laughs> ah. Smash that like button. Dylan Saunders. Gotcha. Damn. Music AJ Holmes, nice. Um, yeah, I loved that. I, I, yeah, that was great. I was really worried that... Not well, really worried, but I was a bit worried that I wouldn't connect with it as much as some of the other ones, because, like... I like an, I obviously knew of Aladdin, but I'd only properly seen it until like recently. So I was worried that some of the references would maybe, but um, no, it was really good. And like I said, for that, I love that for that one song, the costume department just went ham, and <laughs> I've never said went ham in my life. Why did I just say that? Yeah, that was sick. And there was like a fit. Well, there was definitely too big. Moments, well, no, no, a few, a few moments where I was like, well, that's genuinely surprising to me. It was like, the first was that they like, the, the old the character, the villains from the other films came in, that was really cool. I think, I, I feel like I should have seen it coming, but um, the fact that Jasmine was his daughter, fucking Jeff doing the two, two personality thing was sick, I loved that. Ah, oh, yeah, that's really nice. That seems to be like I know, like a lot of people really like this one. This seems to be like kind of the classic Star Kid show. I don't know. It's just got just a lot of very stupid jokes. It's heartwarming. Yeah, it's just good, it's good all round. Hope you enjoyed that. I really did. Thank you for watching. Uh, Film reacts episode thirty seven. Abigail and Jason. Uh, I hope you're doing all right. So, as I stayed at the start, I started playing Pokemon Go again. <laughs> so, I thought it was the perfect time to start during the pandemic. I thought that was good. If you're not doing so already, make sure you wrap up warm. It's pretty cold out there. Don't uh, go outside too much. K kiss your kids goodnight and uh, tell them to watch Star Kid because it's cool. See ya. Bye, Miguel and Jason watching a film react.